Number 21. Find the domain of the function f of x equals the square root of x squared minus 25 over the absolute value of x minus 6. So in this equation, there's really two things limiting your domain. So one, you can't have a negative in, in under a square root. So as long as x squared minus 25 is positive, then we're good. The other thing is, is that the denominator can't be zero. So the absolute value of x minus 6 can't be zero. So we can just work each of these one at a time. So uh, the square root of x squared minus 25 can't, or sorry, x squared minus 25 can't be negative. So let's set this up. So x squared minus 25 has to be greater than or equal to zero, which means that x squared has to be greater than or equal to 25, which means that you can have one of two cases. Either x is greater than or equal to 5, or x is less than or equal to negative 5. Now, for the bottom, so the absolute value of x minus 6 cannot equal 0, which simplifies to, you can just say x minus 6 cannot equal 0. So x cannot equal 6. You didn't really have to solve all of this. You probably could have just seen that 6 makes the denominator 0, but decided I wanted to show that. So these are our two things, or our three things, rather. We have x must be greater than or equal to 5, x is less than or equal to negative 5, and x cannot equal 6. So let's see which of these answer choices fits that. Um, all right, so choice A, that this, inter, this interval from 5 to infinity, that includes 6, so it can't be that. It's not going to be from negative infinity to infinity. Let's see, here... It looks like, so we have negative infinity to negative 5, and then 5 to 6. But if you notice, these are actually open parentheses. Or, yeah, they're parentheses, not brackets, which means that you're excluding that, uh, that number. When in fact, as long as it's less than or equal to negative 5, you're still good. So it's not this one, because negative 5 and 5 still do technically work. It just makes, the, just makes this part 0 but the only thing we're worried about is that not being negative. Um, we can eliminate c, because this still includes x equals 6 on this interval from 5 to infinity. And then on, it looks like our only option left is e, but let's double check it just in case. So negative infinity to negative 5, including negative 5, because we have this bracket. And then from 5 to 6, so we're including 5, not including 6 right, because it's a parenthesis and not a bracket, and then going just from 6 to infinity. Yep, I think that works. So looks like we're going to go with E. Um, there's also a way to do this on your calculator um, that I'll show you. Um, it may be faster to do this way, but in some cases it gets pretty complicated, and some may find it easier to just do it on the calculator. So here's what you do. You actually just type the word domain. And then inside of it, you write your equation. So our equation will be the square root of x squared minus 25. And then on the bottom, we'll have the absolute value of x minus 6. And then just do a comma x at the end to let the calculator know what variable you're using. And it gives us the exact same thing that we had before. So from negative infinity to negative 5, including negative 5, so it says less than or equal to. And no, neg you can't use x equals 6, and we also have from 5 to infinity. So, uh, that makes that a little bit quicker, just depends on your personal preference, really. But yeah, it's going to be E either way. So, if you have any questions from other tests, make sure to leave a comment, and I'll make a video with a solution. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.